welcome to Vlogtober. We're not off to the best start, given that it's already the second, and literally all I filmed yesterday was me making my cup of tea. Um, there is a good reason for that though that I didn't get into uh, yesterday, is that I was basically, I was in work from, uh, from 9am until 8pm. It was not fun. Um, obviously I'm not going to be vlogging when I'm in work, because I'm in work. Um, so I kind of think there might be a few days like that where I'm just in work most of the day, because unlike last year when I did Vlogtober, I'm now on a much bigger contract in work. So I will be having a lot of days where literally all I'm doing is going to work. Um, but I'm still going to try and film a bit. I'm going to do, um, sorry, I feel like I'm very hoarse already. <coughs> it's still early. I'm only just have to get up. Why am I so hoarse? Why am I so hoarse? Okay, moving on. I'm sorry that I'm hoarse. I've literally just discovered this. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I'm going to do um, weekly videos, weekly vlogs, so that way if I have a few days in the week where I'm in in work a lot, um, I won't feel so bad about not, not vlogging. Um, but I may do more than one in a week depending on how long the videos get. I need to keep an eye on the footage. But for today, I've just gotten up. Um, um, so I'm going to do some Inktober sketches. Um, I might try and print off some more of my zines. Um, maybe try and finish one of them. Because it's only about half coloured. And then I'm going out to campus for my first ever coaching session. Woohoo! Um, so for those of you who don't know, I recently did a, a coaching course in archery. Um, so I've been doing archery for years, but um, I only became a qualified coach last week? Week before? I don't know. Within the last two weeks anyway. And today is our um, taster session out at the university. Um, and obviously I finished uni now. If you've seen my last week of dissertation work, you know I finished. Um, but um, because the university paid for some of my coaching course, I'm obviously going along to help coach their beginners. Okay, so I'm about to head out to archery now, hence my jersey. Um, I didn't do very well with uh, Inktober today. Um, I didn't actually start it. I, uh, I wrote down prompts in my bullet journal because um, there are a few prompts that I want to swap out and write something else in. But I just had so much stuff I wanted to do, so I didn't print any of my zines. I'm just, I'm so disorganized. I didn't color my zine. I literally wrote out the prompts for Inktober. Sorry, that was my PlayStation turning on because I didn't turn it off properly last time. Now it's properly turned off. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to catch up on my journal as well because I don't know how, but I started this journal a year ago. How have I not filled it yet? There's so much stuff like that I still haven't journaled about. It's ridiculous. Just, I just, I need to get back into journaling properly. Um, but yeah, so I've got my bag packed up. I'm going off to archery and I'm really hoping because I'm doing delivery tonight that I don't have to maintain. I can go straight down to the basement because otherwise I'll need to change. Like I've got black top underneath this and I've got like black jeans, but I don't want to have to change out of my convos. Like if I'm on the shop floor, I need to be wearing all black and I don't want to wear all black. I want to wear my converse. Can I just pop you guys there? Oh, that works. So I'm just going to pop you there while I finish getting ready. So, because I have to go for a bus now. I have my bus pass. Archery hoodie. Um, oh, I wanted to return that today. I'll do that tomorrow. I'm just seeing things and remembering things I needed to do. Okay, bit of daylight, just as I'm leaving, and jackets downstairs. Okay. Okay, so I'm just in the door. Like I say, I didn't film anything at our because I was too busy, unfortunately. But we had a really good turnout. There were loads of people. I'd say, like, when we started, there were, I think, 36 people. And then, obviously, some left and some came because we were shooting for about three hours. And then, yeah, then I went to work for four hours. It was actually a really nice shift. Like, it was nice to just come in, go down to the basement and process the delivery and then flow. And, like, because I was flowing when the shop was actually empty. Sorry. Flowing is 
I don't know if it's just specifically my work jargon or if it's all retail shops. If you work in a retail shop and you know what flowing means, let me know. But um, it's basically when we put the new products from the delivery out into the shop. So um, because I was doing that at night when the shop was actually closed, it made life so much easier. So I quite like doing that. Yes, yeah, so it is the 3rd of October now, so day three of Vlogtober. I'm doing a bit better with vlogging now. Not so much with Inktober, but um, so it is ten past ten, and I have to head out of here at about um, half past twelve to get to work on time. Uh, but I just got this in the post, and I thought I would open it up because these are some postcards that I ordered printed from uh, Moo.com. I think it's .com anyway. Um, yeah, and I haven't opened them, and I'm so nervous to see if they came out right. So I'm gonna actually set you up at my desk for a bit of a top-down view just so I can do a quick unboxing and have a look because I'm so excited but they sent you a little postcard and that's like matte and I think I, I ordered a matte finish so I wonder if it's the same as that because I didn't really know what it was going to be it is that'd be brilliant let's get the sticker off it Ooh. okay Okay, so I ordered 25 postcards, so there's a big chunk there with different patterns. They're not as matte as I would have liked, because I left some of them as pencil sketches, or not pencil sketches, like they're inked, but they're before I watercolored them. I was going to do them as matte, kind of colour your own, but that's really not matte enough. It feels glossy. Well, I don't know, it doesn't feel glossy, it doesn't feel matte though, it's somewhere in between. I still like how they came out though, but I think next time I'll just order coloured ones. Oh yeah, because that one came out so much better. Okay, so these are the four designs that I did. I did them each in black and white, and then each in colour. I feel like, where are my originals? Uh, I feel like, yeah, some of the colours are more vibrant. So, those are all the printed ones, and these are the originals. Okay, that one's pretty accurate. I feel like that colour is slightly off bit more vibrant. So no, I guess it's alright. It's just bits, like that pink struck me as a lot more vibrant than that, but it's actually not. It's not too bad at all. Alright guys, so it is currently about 20 past 11 on Thursday the 4th, and I am relaxing today. I have a day off, uh, a day off work, so glad. So I'm back in tomorrow for an eight hour sheet. Uh, I can't speak yet. <laughs> I'm back in work tomorrow for an eight hour shift. If I can get that word out. Um, and then I'm off all weekend again. So today I am just relaxing. I've just done a bit of cleaning. I need to clean, finish cleaning my room. I want to move these Polaroids because they're just kind of random there. I kind of have this thing going around my door with like loads of Polaroids. And I'm thinking I need to like continue that across the top. So I might move those over onto there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give my room a bit of a clean. Um, I need to go to the shop and get some milk because I meant to get some yesterday. But the shop was closed by the time I finished work. Um, and then yeah, I want to get a bit more work done on Inktober. I want to film an actual video about doing Inktober and catch up. Um, I also need to finish making these. So this is my new compass pin. I've actually just stuck the uh, pin on the back of it. So I'm waiting for that glue to dry. And I think I'm going to try and cut out a few more of them. I might try and paint a few more postcard designs. I basically just want to do loads and loads of art today. And it sounds so weird and it sounds like I am an addict, but in order to do that I need tea. So I need to go and get milk. Hey guys, so I'm back home now and I filmed quite a bit today that I'm not actually going to include in this uh, vlog. Noticing my necklace keeps rotating. Um, because I was out filming with uh, Laura today. Is that a really awkward angle? That's better. Yeah, so Laura and I went into town to do a bit of filming for a video coming up over on her channel. Um, I'll put all of her links in the description box below. 
we were doing a bit of drawing around in York today. Um, hopefully we're going to do a few more of them. But I was kind of vlogging a bit of the behind the scenes. So I'm going to put that in a separate video. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm just going to prop you down here. That'll do. I have to do my dishes. Um, so yeah, I'm home now. And I'm just cooking something. I've just had some dinner. I have some pasta eggs in the oven um, that are going to be my kind of lunch and dinner-ish over the, um, dinner-ish, as if that's even a word, uh, kind of lunch and evening snack meal things over, over the weekend, because I'm back in work all day tomorrow, and I am off all weekend though, so I'll be home, so it'd be nice to have some, to have some meals already cooked and ready to go. Oh, that is baked on there. Um, so I'm just waiting for that to cook. That's got another 15 minutes on it. And other than that, I did a bit of work on my Inktober, so I got one of them fully done. Um, I've done the pencil sketches for two more, so I just have to actually do the, the ink bit, you know, the entire point behind the challenge. And then, uh, what else did I do? Obviously I did the sketch with the floor while we were out and about. I know I was going to say something and now it's, it's completely vanished. I cannot remember what I was going to say. Oh, I have a package. That's what I was going to say. I knew it was something about Inktober. So I ordered some, um, some black ink online, just like a tub of Windsor & Newton black ink, um, because I kind of wanted to try working with actual like ink in a tub and seeing what I can do, you know, I could use these pens or I could um, water it down, use it as an ink wash, so that's what I'm going to do and see, um, so I'm going to unbox that in, in a minute now once I get all this done. Um, in there. So yeah, I'm going to unbox that and see because I got a, a dip pen as well. I'm very excited to show you. I'm very excited to see it. Okay, so I hope the lighting's okay. Um, it is nearly seven o'clock. Um, I really want to get into this, so I cannot wait until tomorrow. And I'm losing the natural light, so if I'm casting a lot of shadows, it's because I have my desk lamp on, so so that you can kind of see this. Anyway. Very exciting. Oh, that is a big box in there. Okay, all right. Let's take those two out, get rid of that. So, these are what I got. Obviously, I wasn't expecting this to come loose, but I'm surprised it comes in a fancy little box. I was expecting just bubble wrap. But, let's see, okay, let's get into this first. So this is my first ever pot of ink. So excited. I wanted to get the non-waterproof because, you know, I do kind of like um, watercolour style stuff. So I figured that was a good bet. Ooh, look at that. So this is Indian ink. I've obviously, I've heard of Indian ink, but I don't know what the deal is about. I am a total noob when it comes to ink. So if anyone wants to educate me about ink, please let me know. Post in the comments. Teach me some stuff. Da, 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 da. Oh. <laughs> the suspense. Me in there. At least I know it's well wrapped. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so nice. I was so afraid this would show up broken. Oh, that looks so cool. Mesmerizing. So this is a glass dip pen. I wanted to get dip pens for a while, especially these glass ones, because they just look so pretty. Oh, right. Oh, we got an air bubble. Pop. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. So I don't know how I'm meant to grip this. Am I meant to literally just grip this like a pen? Like a normal pen? How much ink am I meant to get on it? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Clearly I'm going to have to mess around with this a lot. Oh, I know that's not what you're meant to do, but... Oh, I really like that. That would do some cool effects, actually. I like the ink, anyway. It's definitely good in black. So opaque. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to have to mess around with the, the dip pen. I'm just going to wipe it off. If anyone has any tips at all for using ink 
or dip pen, specifically a glass dip pen or a normal dip pen, whatever, let me know, because I actually really do need to know. I need your help, because <laughs> I am obviously so unbelievably clueless. Hey guys, so I didn't film at all yesterday, um, for Vlogtober anyway. Again, I just spent the entire day in work. It is now... Sorry. Um, it's now about ten past ten on Saturday morning. Saturday the 6th. And I'm getting ready to go to archery, so I've just done my... My archery kit out from underneath the bed. Um, I need to take some stuff out of my backpack and put it in here and go get a bus onto campus. I am already kind of running late, actually. Um, I need to find my jersey. There it is. Jersey. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go out to campus and do a bit of shooting and then come back and try and get a few things ticked off my to-do list because I still need to catch up on Inktober. I have done some. I know there hasn't been a video yet, but I have done some. Um, I'm just not being very good with it this year. Um, no, I say this year. This is the first year I've done it. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping to get some Inktober done, some sketches done, and maybe design a few more pins because I kind of I want to have two of each pin design before I put them up on Etsy. Obviously, I can make more of them, but I want to have at least one and a backup one. <laughs> Okay, so I've been home for hours now. It's dark out. Um, I've actually had a productive afternoon. Um, so I've been doing a bit of art and a bit of filming, starting to catch up on Inktober. I've got four of the six prompts done that I should have done, so two more to do tonight. I can get that done, that's no problem. Um, I'm still wearing my archer jersey as well, I wasn't bothered with changing out. But I was meant to be going out um, out to town tonight. It was a uh, leaving do for uh, two of the managers in work. Um, it's been rescheduled for some reason. I don't know why. They just um, posted on our work chat saying it's going to have to be rescheduled. Which, to be honest, when I read, I just thought, thank God, because I don't want to go into town today. I went into town last Saturday, and I just I don't enjoy town on a Saturday. It's just too... Too many people, too many hen nights and stag do's for me. I just don't like it. So instead, I am staying in and going to work on some art. I think I might turn on a movie or something. I have my PlayStation on at the moment, but it's just on YouTube. Um, flipping through random videos I've probably seen a dozen times already. Um, speaking of YouTube as well, I've also just edited and uploaded a behind the scenes of the video I filmed on Thursday with Laura. So, this is going to be the end of week one of Vlogtober. Uh, I'm going to edit and upload all of the footage so far into one video. And, yeah, hope you liked it. If you lasted this long, I'm sure the amount I filmed over the week this is going to be a long video. So, very impressed if you lasted this long. Um, yeah, next one will be going up next Sunday then. And I do have a lot of late nights of work next week, so that might be a shorter one. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.